One Minute Inspirations, Henry Street Church of Christ. If I want compassion, I have to give compassion to others. Then he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that in your lifetime you received your good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things, but now he is comforted and you are tormented. And besides all this, between us and you there is a great gulf fixed, so that those who want to pass from here to you cannot, nor can those from there pass to us. Luke chapter 16, verse 24 to 26, King James Version. My intent today is not to leverage a fire and brimstone message. However, the graphic nature of the story of Lazarus and the rich man clearly shows us that we need to show compassion to others in order to receive compassion from God. The rich man had every opportunity to help poor Lazarus in the earthly life, but because of a lack of concern and selfishness, he allowed Lazarus to suffer despite having all the resources for himself and Lazarus. As they say, now the tables are turned. Lazarus is in paradise in the afterlife and the rich man in the torment of the flames. Now the rich man is the beggar for mercy, but God through Abraham would not allow it. He had to suffer a worse fate than the suffering he put Lazarus through. However, on the bright side, we must understand in a positive way that we reap what we sow. When we wish peace upon others and they reject it, that peace will return to us. Matthew chapter 10, verse 13. When we financially give, God will give back to us. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6 and verse 7. We don't have anything to lose, but all to gain. Most of all, we imitate the kindness, mercy, and love of God himself when we give to others. God bless you. Thanks for listening. If you have not made Jesus Christ the head of your life for salvation, don't delay another day. The Bible says that we must obey the gospel, Romans chapter 10, verse 16. This is done by being exposed to, believing, and adhering to the word of God as delivered to us in the New Testament of the Bible. For short, it is called obeying God's plan of salvation. Please see my accompanying video entitled, The Six Things That Save, in order to do so today. You can reach it by going to the YouTube link below or scanning the QR code below with your cell phone. God bless you. Thanks for listening. This is a ministry of the Henry Street Church of Christ, 309 Henry Street, Gadsden, Alabama, USA, 35901, www.henrystreetchurchofchrist.com. Please subscribe to our channel. God bless you.